Hello, welcome to the HR Diary. In this video, you will learn how to predict results with numerical and non-numerical categorical data with three values using multiple regression in Excel. Specifically, you will learn how to predict a person's salary based on their age and the company they work with. So what is multiple regression? Multiple regression is a statistical technique used to understand the relationship between one dependent variable and two or more independent variables. An example of numerical data is H, where you see 22, 37. An example of non-numerical data is company. Example, company A, company B, company C. Excel's regression data analysis tool cannot analyze non-numeric data such as company A, B, C. You need to convert this non-numerical data into numeric form. Sounds interesting? Let's dive in. Before we can perform multiple regression in Excel, you need to first install Analysis 2-Pack, an Excel add-in program that provides data analysis tools. Here's how you do it. Go to the File tab, click on More, Options, go to Add-ins, at the Manage, you'll see Excel add-ins. So select the Excel add-ins, Click on to go. Check the analysis to pack and click OK. Once you click OK, this will appear in the data menu there. And I'll click OK. And you'll see that the data menu has this data analysis here. Before that, it doesn't have this. Now, let's create a multiple regression model something like this. Table one here is my raw data. In this example, I want to predict a person's salary using age and company. This will be the four examples that we, we, will, we will predict later on. So age is numerical, company is non-numerical. The regression data tool cannot analyze this non-numeric data company A, B, C. They need to be coded into numeric dummy variables like here. So they need to be coded into 0, 0, or 1, 0, 0, 1. So as this company non-numeric variable Non-numeric is also called categorical, right? So as company has three values, company A, B, C, right? There's three values. Three values. When you have three values, you will need two dummy variables, which I call it CO1, CO2. As a rule, if a non-numeric value has, has K values, the model will require K minus one dummy variables. All right, so here has three. So I will need two dummy variables. So in this table three, no, sorry, in this table here, all right, these are my, the dummy and variables. So company A is zero, zero. Com company B is one, zero. Company C is zero one in this table three here all right i have converted the text values for company into numeric dummy variables using this table two so company a i have coded it as zero zero yeah zero zero company b i have coded it as one zero following this company c i have coded it as zero one following this so with this, we can now, this table, we can now perform regression analysis using this table three. 
which has the numeric dummy variables. All right. So zero zero represents company A, one zero represents company B. To create the multiple regression model, go to your data menu, click onto this data analysis tool, scroll and look for regression, select it and click OK. After you click OK, you will see this regression dialog box. For the input Y range, click onto it and select the column with your dependent variable salary, including the header, including this header. For the X input range, click onto it, select the columns with your independent variables, the H as well as the company, including these two he these headers. Click back to here and check labels because I have selected the labels on top. And I want to tell Excel that this should labels should not be used for calculation. At the output range, click onto it, choose where you want Excel to put the output for the output to appear. So click onto here. I want it to appear here. Go back to here and click OK. After you click OK, you will see that Excel has generated the summary output. There's many decimal points here. Go to home, select number. I want to change it to three decimal points. So now, how do, how do you interpret the results of this summary output? Let's look at R square. This I will highlight the useful numbers that are relevant for you to understand this output. So in output, here the R square is 0 0.966. This means that it is a very good fit. Your data is a good fit. 0 0.96 means that 96% of the variation in salary is well explained by the independent variables H and company. The closer this is to one, the better the regression line fits the data. Next, we need to look at this number and the p-values. So to determine if your results are statistically significant or reliable, check the significance f. If the value of the significance f is less than 0 0.05, it is statistically significant. If it is less than 0 0.05, it is statistically significant. So now here is this number, 0 is definitely less than this. So it is significant. So if your significance f is bigger than 0 0.05, review your p values. Review all this, the p values. All right. Review those p values that are bigger than 0 0.05. Most of your p values should be lower than 0 0.05. In our example, the p value of h and CO2 are less than 0 0.05. They are sign statistically significant and they contribute significantly to the regression formula. Now, let's build our formula. We will need this coefficients. All right. This is the multiple the formula for multiple regression all right y is the dependent variable in this example y is my salary y depends on seller h and company so y is the dependent variable 
Why is the result that we want to predict? X1, X2, X3, all these are independent variables. In this example, the independent variables are my age and company. All right. The age and company are the independent variables. X is what we are using. This X is what we are using to predict the Y. So beside the X, you see all the B, the B1, B2. These are the coefficients for each of the independent variable X. And B0 is the constant or the intercept. Basically, this formula is saying that the Y dependent variable, the salary, it depends on the X independent variables H and the company. So this is the formula that we want to build. Now, what are the values for B, B0, B1, all this? We need to get it from this here, from here, all right? So the BO, this BO, we need to plug in the intercept coefficient. So I'll type equals and take this minus 549, hit enter, all right? So this is the first number that we need. Next, we need the H coefficient. And the H coefficient, I get it from here, 102, and I hit enter. And I need the CO1 coefficient, which I can get it from here, 709. And the CO2 coefficient, which is the B3, we'll get it from here, 2070. So this is my regression formula. You can see it here as well. Right? This is my regression formula. Now, let's use this multiple regression model for prediction. Let's try with this first. The first one, predict the salary if H is 30 and company is A. Company A means 0, 0. The CO is 0, 0. Right? CO1 is 0, CO2 is 0. So if you want to predict this, you type in. So H is 30, you type in the H. 30 here, hit enter. Company A means 0, 0. So CO1 is 0. CO2 is 0. So you get this. So if the age is 30, if a person's age is 30 and they work in company A, their salary is likely to be 2,525. So remember, statistics is about probability. So there's a high probability that this person's salary is this. Now let's predict again. Basically, my first three examples, I'm using the same age, and I am just changing the company. So age 30, company B. Company B is 1 and 0. So here will be 1, here will be 0. So company B, the salary is higher. 3, 2, 3, 5. Now, let's predict the salary if the age is 30. And the company is C. C is 0, 1. So 0 here and 1 here. The salary is 4, 5, 9, 5. So you can see uh, holding the age constant at 30, company C pays the highest, followed by company B, and company A pays the lowest for the same age. Now let's predict. If the age is 50 and the company is C, so we just change this to age 50, the salary becomes higher. So as the person is older for the same company, they will earn a higher wage. All right, that's it. In this video, I have shown you how to predict results with numerical and non-numerical categorical data with three values and all using multiple regression or using Excel. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so that you will get notified about similar videos that 
we upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Daily channel.